this is where I'm going this week, and this is almost a two. This is a two part situation. I'll try to keep it as brief as I possibly can because I get long winded. But I did hit on this a couple weeks back when I spoke about Caitlin Clark and Cheryl Swoops. Caitlin Clark, if you weren't watching, last week broke the record for most points in NCAA in women's basketball history, and she'll probably break the overall record for points that is held by Pete Maravich. Um, in the next few games, Caitlin Clark busted, I think, 49 points to break the record. She hit a logo three to break the record. I don't know how. I mean, she was hitting shots from everywhere. She was nine for 18 from three. She was 16 for 31 from the field. Absolutely unbelievable performance. And I think she also had 11 assists or something like that. 13. See, that's what, that's what, what was it? 13? It was hot. This is and this is what people forget, don't want to forget to understand. Caitlin Clark is not just leading the league, the country in scoring; she's leading the country in assists. So before people shit on her and say all she does is shoot the ball, she actually is the one dishing the ball too. So I'm looking back at this situation. She breaks the record last week, and everyone is congratulating her. You name the person, they are congratulating her. Starting with the woman whose record she broke, Kelsey Plum, Angel Reese, Tom Brady, Calvert Cheney, Brittany Griner, Gus Johnson, Zach Eady, Dane Lillard, uh, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, Jackie Stiles, who had the record before Kelsey Plum, I think before that as well, Alex Morgan, the U.S. soccer player, Billie Jean King, Barack Obama, the, pres- the former president of the United States, Pat McAfee, Magic Johnson, Don Staley. These are just some of the names that I found that actually congratulated her publicly for what she did, for that accomplishment. You know who did? Cheryl Swoops. The woman who a week ago was taking a shit on her, two weeks ago was taking a shit on her and saying that she's 25 years old, is in her fourth, fifth year of college, and takes 40 shots a game. She said that on the Gilbert Arena's podcast, Gil's Arena, and she took a hell of a lot of heat for it nationally. I know this because I've been on all these boards, and she is getting crucified, and she deserves every bit of it. She had the chance to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. She did not. On the podcast, she could have done so. She did not. She doubled down. She made more ridiculous statements. So recently, while she was doing a broadcast, she, I'm looking for my paper because I wrote it down. Here we go. Cheryl Swoops claims that she texted Caitlin Clark, and I will read what she stated. She says, a couple of weeks ago, I reached out to Angel Reese and had a really good conversation over the phone. And I sent a text message to Caitlin. So you called Angel Reese, but you're texting Caitlin Clark. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you just took a dump on me, you know, nationally, maybe I should deserve a phone call too. I, I don't know. Um, she responded. And she and I went back and forth. I won't share what she said. I'll leave that to her if she wants to share. But I will say what I said to her was I made a mistake in saying it was your fifth year when it was your fourth. I mean, Nick, you're the most forgiving human being I've ever met in my life. You, you is, that an apo- is that an apology? Um, no, nah, she didn't. She, she ain't. Okay. Man, just- no. Hey, okay, Cheryl, I'm looking. Cheryl Swoops, come out here and tell him how to rip, how you really fucking feel. Tell him you don't fuck with her, and that's what it is. You don't fuck with her. You don't like her game, and and that's what it is. I'm okay with that. Rudy's definitely okay with that. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. tell him how it T I no, <clears throat> T. <laughs> so if you take a shit on me on a national platform. Publicly, you're a po- first of all, this is not an apology. I made a mistake, it's not an apology because you only said you made a mistake when it comes to your fifth year, not your fourth year. You also said she was 25, not 22. She just turned 22. You also said she takes 40 shots a game. I don't care, and I repeat, I do not care what her opinion is of Caitlin Clark. I don't care if she doesn't think Caitlin Clark will be a great WNBA player coming right out of college. I don't care because that's an opinion. You're entitled to that opinion. I respect it. I, I, I genuinely, I respect it. But when you're lying about people and then you want to come back and sit here on a, on a broadcast where she was doing commentating for a, for a game 
and say this type of nonsense? Oh, if Caitlin wants to save my ass and tell the world what we said, fuck you. Why does she have? Why does she owe that to you? She doesn't owe you that. You should have been apologizing. With, I'm sorry. I was flat wrong. I wasn't. I did not know, or I. I just thought something that was completely off, or whatever you want to say. But none of it is. I made a mistake over you being in the fourth or fifth year. Get the fuck out of here. You shit on her publicly over something. You apologize publicly over that same thing. You don't say, Caitlin, you want to come and tell the world what I told you? No. Did you even talk to her? Or was this all via text message? Because I'll be damned if you freaking do that to me and, I'm, and we're going to have a text conversation about it. Fuck. I, I wouldn't even respond to her dumbass. <laughs> so that was that. I, I just thought that was really ridiculous. You know, you lie on someone publicly three times on a national platform. Gil's Arena, shout out. I love that podcast, by the way. I will say I love that podcast. Those guys are awesome. But you cannot sit here and say, we had a text conversation, and I'll let her reveal it if she wants to. Because you know what you just did? You revealed it. And now you want her to come back and cover your ass? And you know what she also... And so if you have a problem with her, if you didn't have a problem with her, wouldn't you be the first person to congratulate her publicly for breaking that record? The one that you just said that she would have gotten that wouldn't have been hers because she played too many games, too many seasons, blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit? Come on, man. Come on now. Let's, 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 let's be real about this. She made some bullshit up. She lied. She got caught. She didn't think anyone would fact check it. I don't know why she didn't think that. My God. You know? And you're talking about a girl who's going to be the number one pick in the WNBA draft next year if she decides to go back, you know, into the draft. Because, I mean, she'll make more money with that. At Iowa, <laughs> but you know, it, she she'll have, she'll be the number one pick in the draft. And on top of that, saying that she won't be good coming out, would you say? Did you say it about Diane Taurasi? Taurasi averaged nineteen points coming out of college, her first year. Indiana's not very good, which means Caitlin Clark's gonna get shots. She walk in as the best player on their team. I looked at their roster. Their roster is nothing. They got Aaliyah Boston from South Carolina, who was a rookie. Mm-hmm. You put her next to Caitlin Clark, that's going to be one fearsome-ass duo. That would be, be a hell of a duo. They have this girl, Kelsey Mitchell, I think was her name, um, who, who led them in scoring. But they were very good. Now, I think it sucks for Caitlin Clark to end up in Indiana. I mean, you hope, you'd rather have her be in a big market, you know, for what she's bringing to the game. And, look, if you, have, if you don't believe she'll be great immediately, that's fine. I don't have a problem. Like I said, I don't have a problem with that. But when you say shit like that about how, you had a conversation, man. Apologize. Grow the fuck up because you know what Cheryl Swoops said. She she made her Twitter private. You think a pro athlete has private Twitter? Yeah, I'm running. No, yeah, yeah. It becomes private when you lie about somebody, and you're probably getting DM'd to death by Iowa fans. <laughs> so that's the first part of my rant. So, again, I will say again, Cheryl Swoops, if you don't like the girl, just say you don't like the girl, man. But don't sit here and make a bullshit. Don't sit up and say you apologize. You didn't apologize. You didn't apologize. I made a mistake. It's not an apology. I've never heard. Man, gentlemen out there, if you make a mistake with your wife, do you say I made a mistake or do you say I'm sorry, baby? I say both. <laughs> you say both. <laughs> you cover them both. There you go. This, this, is, this is where, you know, the, the Swoops thing is. There's only, there's only so many decent white basketball players in the world who are American, not Europeans, but American basketball players. Why are you so flipping? Uh, what's the word? Why are you so triggered or so afraid of that one girl or that one guy being so fucking good? Like, it's rare. It's rare. Well, the league is like 85% black in the NBA, probably more than that. I mean, I think Miami's got more white dudes than anyone. <laughs> we got a Mexican guy, actually. <laughs> I mean, how could, but what are, you getting, like, what, what are you getting so upset about because a white girl is good? Like, it, 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 it helps your game if some. I, I don't get that thing. It's like, don't be threatened by it. Like, the reality is there's one Caitlin Clark. There won't be too many others, if ever. So... Cheryl, you're still great. Cheryl Soups, you're still a great player. I loved when you played. You were awesome. 
But man, what are you so what are you bothered by? Like, God forbid the white girl's pretty goddamn good. Get the fuck out of here. Stop it. So that's uh what I got for Rudy's rant today.